Okay, here with Grace Kim after her third round at the Jam Eagle LA Championship. I know it was a rough day for you um, for a lot of the fields. So can you just uh, take us through the day today? Yeah, I mean, the wind did pick up. Um, it was a bit gusty out there. So mentally, I knew that it was going to be tough. And I've seen some high scores already. So um, I just tried to stay in the present. Um, again, like I backed away a few times just because the wind died or the wind gusted up. Um, so the club selection was very crucial. But um, again, I think just the Poana Greens in the afternoon, it gets very bumpy. And I think it was probably the worst this, today. Um, and I mean, that's kind of a given. So it was, as you can see, it's tough for everyone today. So yeah, it was just one of those days. It's just golf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it gets frustrating. And you've talked a lot about, you know, staying in the present. What are some of the things that you do that you maybe tell yourself to just stay sort of grounded and not let the frustrations get to you? So this morning, I wrote a few things on my in my yardage book just to keep me like going and with like little reminders on the golf course. Um, verbally, I said a lot of things to myself just to keep me going. Um, and, you know, just conversations, positive conversations with my caddy. So, um, yeah, just if it, yeah, if it's that, if it's not going to work in your mind, just at least say it. So then, you know, you're verbally saying a statement and, um, yeah, again, fake it so you can make it. Mm -hmm. Any of those statements you mind sharing? Yeah. Can I open my Of book? course. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, oh, very cliche, but <laughs> um, I guess like it was, I've said a lot of things on the golf course and I've said, you know, um, it's just me versus the golf course. Um, like, don't worry about the whole field because it's tough for everyone. So I try to stay in the present of, you know, just the next shot, um, giving myself good chances. I know I had a few three putts in there, but just keeping my head in the game and, um, yeah, not losing that sharp focus. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's one. And I said good things take time. So, yeah. <laughs> There you go. I love that. Um, tomorrow you'll be uh, still in the lead um, yep. and you'll be teeing up with Hannah, um, who's won here before. Yes. Uh, how much of a comfort might that be for you, even though you're going to be competing with her out there? Yeah, no, it's always really nice to be paired with an Aussie. Um, I think we're pretty quick players, so hopefully we get the round done um, very quickly. But um, again, yeah, we're obviously friends before competitors. So whoever gets the trophy, um, yeah, we're very supportive of. Awesome. Um, knowing you had a buffer today, did that sort of help you stay calm? Um, I know you went in with a four stroke lead, um, so you had a little bit of buffer. How much did that help you today? I think at the end, obviously I shaved a few edges today. Um, so, you know, I couldn't take things personally from the green and the results. Um, Cause you know, again, it was very tough. But just mentally, I'm telling myself that I'm just saving all the birdies for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And just knowing you you have been in the lead the past two days, um, you shot two really good scores. Um, does that help your confidence going into tomorrow? For sure. I think knowing that I can go that low is always a good reminder that, you know, I can win the thing. But um, again, it's kind of whatever happens, happens. And um, I'm just trusting whatever outcome happens for me because you know you can't force anything because that would just probably not turn out very good so um yeah i'm just gonna again try and stay in the present tomorrow take it one hole at a time just continue giving myself good chances and yeah we'll see how we finish awesome thanks so much thank Great. you awesome